Breaking news as it pertains to Apple. This breaking just a few minutes ago that the U.S. Justice Department suing Apple in an antitrust case over the iPhone. Joining us now with the latest is Bloomberg's Ed Ludlow. And Ed, what is the basis of this lawsuit? Yeah, the, the accusation from the DOJ in 16 different states is that Apple has violated antitrust laws by having dominance or outsized influence over the distribution of apps. And in, by extension, that those policies prevent consumers from having a choice of moving away from an iOS-based handset, of which they're the maker. Um, this is confirming something Bloomberg reported last night almost to every single detail. But it's important to note that in the session, we're now down 2.9%. And those declines that continue to accelerate. It's the third time that the DOJ has gone after Apple in the last decade or so. They've looked at other issues like the pricing of e-books on the iPad, for example. Uh, as you know, it follows the, the Supreme Court uh, case or, or the court case around uh, the battle with Epic. But you know, those stock declines of 2.9% obviously having an impact as we hit 3% at the index level as well of Apple being the biggest drag on the S&P 500. Yeah, it's quite traumatic, of course, this reaction in Apple. Already shares down are down about 10% for the year. So the bad year just gets worse here, Ed. And I mean, you mentioned some of the other antitrust uh, concerns that Apple is facing. Of course, we also had the European Union earlier this month shut, suing or fining Apple for shutting out its rival music services on the iPhone. It feels like we're talking about something that is just going to continue and continue to haunt Apple. Yeah, Apple now down more than 3% in the session. You know, that 1.8 billion euro, $2 billion fine, the logic of it was that uh, Apple gives the consumer no choice. If you want Spotify, who are the main uh, complainants in that case, you can only get the subscription and pay through it through the iOS system. What the European Union and, and the complainants wanted to see was the ability to go on a website on a different handset or, or a laptop and sign up or pay for it outside of the iOS ecosystem, therefore allowing for competitive pricing. In other words, Apple would not allow app developers to steer consumers towards a better deal. Um, and this DOJ antitrust lawsuit is similar in the sense that it looks at the distribution of apps and how the policies keep a user contained within the iOS system. Stock now down 2.8%. What a morning.